We'll guide you through how to download and install CurseForge. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. CurseForge is a great app to go and have. We're going to be focusing on using it for Minecraft, but it can be used for other games. And with it, we can easily go and get mods and mod packs. So to go and get started, we can come and close out of Minecraft like so. What's really important is, is you have Minecraft installed on your computer. Without Minecraft installed, as we are focusing on that, it's not going to work. go and work with Minecraft. If you want to go and use other games, that game does need to be installed as well. But also with Minecraft, you need to own it as well. Next, what we need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice and we can come to a search engine. Here we are on Google. And then what we want to do is go and type in CurseForge like so. As you know, CurseForge is a whole site in itself. So here we are, we can come to curseforge.com. Now we want to go to the top right where it says get CurseForge app and we can go and click there. And then it says download CurseForge for Windows. What we can do is go and get this downloaded version of it. So I'll go and click download standalone. Now it's gone and downloaded. What we need to do is go and start the install process. Just before we do that, a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server and want to start playing with your friends, then check out the link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get a discount of your first invoice as well, so definitely worth checking out. If we scroll down, we can start checking out some of their great features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 7 servers and support, ultra latency, and so many other great features as well. If you're interested, check them out down below. Now to start the install process, we need to come to our download. So I'll just right click on our file explorer and come here. You want to go and find CurseForge and double click on it. It should go and pop up like so. Choose your language and press next. Then it's going to load. You can see the installation folder. Read the terms of use and privacy policy. If you agree, we can tick it and make sure you're at least 18 years old and press next. Read this through and we can press accept and install. I already have. Now what's going to happen is going to go and download as before we just got the installer. So let this run through. Then it's going to go and install. It's a really quick process. It's now completed and we can press finish in the bottom right. Now it's going to go and open up very shortly. You shouldn't need to do anything. It's opened up and it's now forging our library. Just be patient while this completes. What we can do is go and close this. You want to come over to the left and go and find Minecraft. You can see Powered as well as I've got that. If you can't see Minecraft, as I said, make sure you do have it installed and you can click the plus and go and add it. We can do a scan or manually add it. Then you can go and select it. I've had this before, which is why I've got mod packs here, but otherwise you can go to the top and press discover and you can start going and checking out the different mods and mod packs and press browse as well. Let's go and say you wanted this pack here. I could come over to the right and press install. You'll go and download all of the mods that you need. And then what you can do is you can go and press my mod packs and it's going to go and appear here. You can hover over it and press play. The launch will open and you can press play, confirm you're playing a modified version. You can see we're now playing the mod pack. So CurseForge makes it so easy to go and do this. It's a really great app to have. If you found this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. And remember, if you need yourself a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out Apex Hosting. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I look forward to help you again soon. Goodbye.